Hi everyone, hope you're all doing really well and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm Becca, I'm a professional pet portrait and wildlife artist specialising in colour pencils. I thought I'd do another artist weekly vlog, just taking you through my typical week um, and just kind of showing you some of the things that I'm getting up to. So I'm just having a quick coffee break from filming. Um, my hand's about to drop off, so uh, got my coffee. And I'm gonna quickly package one of my commissions that's going to America. from the post office um, I sent off my original squirrel drawing that I actually drew back in 2020 I think um, so it's nice that I sold that this weekend because you know it's always nice to sell an original so I'm just finishing editing off some content for Patreon I'm gonna finish editing this and then probably make some pancakes <laughs> a really big commission of two kittens it's 16 by 16 inch so quite big so when I've got a commission that's this big I always tend to um, roll it up in a tube and send it that way because I think it just prevents damage um, when you send it in the post this is also the biggest size gift box that I offer which is 12 by 16 inch any commissions that are bigger than this so either 16 by 16 inch or 16 inch by 20 inch I always send in a postage tube. This is the extra white hot press Fabriano Artistico paper and it's the 300 GSM one. The, I do it in a thicker paper, which is the 640. Um, and I get a lot of questions about why I go for the 300, but when I've done a commission that's this big that I know is gonna be in the post, um, especially if it's going abroad, I always like to go for the 300 GSM because it's easier to bend and it won't actually crease the paper, whereas the 640 is quite a lot thicker, um, more like card. So when you try and roll it up, it just bends. So this one, it's still thick enough to draw on. It still feels really sturdy. But I think the 300 GSM is a much better way, especially if you're gonna be rolling it up and posting it in a tube. So I've got a few commissions to package up this morning. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse and show you how I package it in the tube. So it's all packaged up. Um, I'm going to take this downstairs with the others and then go to the post office and get them all sent off. Um, as you probably notice, I, I do like to put tape on either end of the tube as well. They do have lids, but I just think as an extra little bit of protection, I like to kind of tape up both ends as well. So I'm gonna to go to the post office and get these commissions sent off and then come back and make a start on another one for this week. So 
today is Sunday. I'm going to be catching up on some sort of admin work. I also went to the range yesterday and um, for those of you that aren't in the UK that don't know what the range is, it's basically like full of homeware, art stuff, like everything that you could imagine is in there. Um, so I've got a new canvas, I've got like a small selection of oil paints and some new brushes. The last time I painted was in uni like three years ago, probably over three years ago now. Um, and I've just been in the mood to paint. So I've got a canvas, I've got the paints and I'm going to try and attempt to make a start on something today and see how it turns out. The aim is to do it for a competition which is at the end of this month, the David Shepherd Wildlife Artist of the Year competition. Um, I've submitted entries for the past three years and I haven't got anywhere. <laughs> so hopefully this year, trying something a bit different, going back to paint and I'll see how it turns out. I'm thinking maybe elephants but I'm not sure, I've not found like the perfect reference photo yet but um yeah i'll record little bits throughout so you can see what i'm doing but i think this morning i'm firstly just gonna catch up on some emails some admin work um i've got some things to package up as well as always and maybe draw out my next load of commissions for this month i like to kind of draw them all out so they're ready for me to just start one after another um sort of in between tutorials editing and all that good stuff um so yeah i might do that this morning after i've had some breakfast and then look for a reference photo to start on my canvas so i just thought i'd quickly show you what i actually got from the range and um, this is the canvas size that i got not too big so i think i can actually probably finish it in time for the competition at the end of the month didn't want anything too big obviously because i'm not painted for so long um, but it's just something to kind of get back into it. These are the paints I got, literally got a handful because they are quite expensive. These are the paints that I've got, um, how many? Seven I've got. So I'm just going to work with what I've got really. I've still got some old ones somewhere from uni. I also got just a random range of brushes, like I, I don't really know what I'm going to be painting so I've just sort of <laughs> gotten for a range of brushes and hope for the best. Literally loads of different ones, different sizes, but mainly like thin, tiny ones because um, we want to get a lot of detail in there. So yeah, I'll be showing you little updates on the canvas and um, letting you know how that gets on. So I'm going to start that tomorrow, I think. But today, like I said, I'm just going to start with some admin work and I'm also going to package up the cutest commission that I've just finished. So it's a little puppy golden retriever. And it's quite a big one, 16 by 16 inch. How cute is that? <laughs> it's the same size that I did those two kittens as well the other day. So I'm going to be um, carefully rolling it up in a tube, in a postage tube, just to prevent like damage in the post. So yeah, I'm going to package that up. I've got a few Etsy orders to package up as well. I'm going to start drawing out all my commissions for this month. I've already printed them out and cut the paper down to size. So I just need to draw them out ready. deliveries today i think one's gonna be my boxes i get all my boxes from the tiny box company this is really heavy <laughs> so i'm gonna unbox that and neatly put them away somewhere um, and then i think this is a frame i get my frames from eframe online because you can customize the size um, and they've always been really really good quality just recently finished a little chick tutorial which is there <laughs> um i did that for patreon so i want to get that frame so it matches all of my other british wildlife pieces for example all the ones over there as well um and then i'm i am at some point wanting to get this stag on the wall because obviously it's looking a bit bare um so i need to sort that out but yeah i'm going to unpackage this frame my chick and then put all my boxes away I think last time I checked in with you, I'd been to the range, got a canvas, found all my paints, bought some new brushes, ready to start 
um, my painting for the David Shepherd Wildlife Artist of the Year competition. So although I say it's an artist weekly vlog, it's literally about five weeks in one. <laughs> but anyway, this, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update of where I'm at. I've still got most of it to do, but this is where we're at at the minute. So, yeah, I've not painted for three years and I decide to paint an elephant, which is literally the most complicated animal to paint ever or draw. I've done most of the detail at the top there. I've still got like the middle section of the trunk to do um, and obviously the ear and parts of the body. Although I quite like the ear, how it is like having a bit of colour showing through. So the deadline is on Wednesday it's currently Friday <laughs> so so yeah we've got a lot to do but hopefully I get there and get it finished um, and fingers crossed we get shortlisted this is the fourth year that I've submitted I've never had any luck before so hopefully this year we get shortlisted fourth time lucky I'm hoping anyway thank you so much for watching my weekly artist vlog obviously i know it's been a bit all over the place but that's literally what it's like um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed it comment below if you've got any questions and if you want to see more art related content then please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching